The Bank of Canada just announced this morning another rate hike. That's right, the Bank of Canada just increased interest rates for fourth consecutive time, bumping up the overnight rate by another 0.75 basis points. Recently, I put up a poll on my channel asking you guys how much you think the next rate hike would be, and thank God, a lot of the audience of this channel knows what they're talking about, and we all guessed correctly at 0.75. So now with this fourth consecutive rate hike by the BOC, and rates standing at 3.25. What will this mean for the Toronto slash GTA real estate market? How should buyers and sellers proceed? And let's not forget, this is all occurring against the backdrop of a, a fall market. That and much more in today's video. Hello everyone, this is Sam from Sibiri 6 Real Estate and Remax Wiltron Realty Inc. Back with another video for you guys here today. As always, you can find my contact information on the screen and in the description box as well. Feel free to get in touch with me with any questions you may have with regards to topics covered in this video or topics covered in previous videos. If you wanna do a little bit of your own due diligence, feel free to just simply enter my name into Google, go through my Google reviews to see the feedback my past and current clients have provided. Now with this most recent rate hike, uh, it's not as if we're seeing historically high rates. Rates in the past have been much higher. It's only that in recent memory, rates have not been this high. And effectively, this being the fourth consecutive rate hike after the large 100 basis point rate hike we saw in July, what will be the impact? I think the most obvious and the fairest, fairest, fairest assumption is a further drop in prices. I do believe prices will drop a tad bit more. Now the rate hike previous to this one, which just occurred, so the one that was for 100 basis points, that did not have the desired impact that a lot of uh, house bears, a lot of people anticipating the crash of the Toronto real estate market and the GTA market wanted to have. As I covered in my most recent video, insofar as we're only a month and a half out, the July increase had a diminishing impact in terms of prices dropping. To be clear, prices dropped, but not to the same level that a lot of people anticipated. So I think it's a further fair assumption to say with this rate hike of 0.75, we're going to see a drop in prices, but nothing demonstrative. Currently, as of August 2022, the most recent month we have in full, prices are only barely up year over year. Prices are down month over month. And in September, when we take a look at September numbers in full, because we're only seven to eight days, depending on when you're watching this, maybe 15 days if you're watching this, 15 days into September, we're not through September in full. So I do anticipate in September, not only we will see a drop in month over month prices as we have seen thus far, but for the first time in a long time, we may actually see a drop in year over year prices. And this is referring to the overall, the largest number, the average sold price across all property types, across all areas within the GTA real estate market. Furthermore, another impact of this rate hike in conjunction with where we are within the year, which is a entryway into the fall market, will cause a increase in supply, yet a diminished increase in supply. Once again, from August to September, from summer months to fall months, that is usually where the largest increase in month over month inventory occurs in a normal typical year. And I still think supply will surely, surely increase into the fall, but I think at a far less of a rate. And to explain this a little bit further, let's transition into the third item I wanted to discuss, which is I do believe the waiting game, for lack of a better word, the Mexican standoff between buyers and sellers will persist even after this rate hike. Because if you read any article with regards to the rate hike announcement uh, and what the Bank of Canada really said, they made it clear, at least as clear as they could make it, that this will not be the last hike. So the market here anticipates future rate hikes past this September one that just occurred. As a result, a significant portion of buyers will continue to wait, assuming it's gonna crash, and sellers are actually practicing quite a bit of patience, and I believe they will persist to practice that patience as well. Because, because, I know a lot of people think the market's gonna crash, sellers can't afford properties anymore, so they have to sell. But consider the following major items. There's a fair amount of people who locked in fixed rates when they were very low. A lot of people just naturally don't really want to sell. There is a, at the end of the day, you know, there's so many, at the end of the day, there's a reason there's a housing uh, supply issue. People just don't sell as often as you would assume. 
a lot of people who might want to sell, they've held onto the property for a long time, built up a lot of equity. A lot of my sellers, my current listing, for instance, on the market right now, they're older people. They bought way back in 2002. Some of my clients bought all the way back in the 1980s. They built up a lot of equity. So if they list right now, they're not necessarily desperate and they have options. They can wait another year to two years. And number four, those people who are on variable and bought at peak market conditions when prices were the highest and rates were the lowest, historical trends and precedent clearly shows us that those people who are on variable who might be under a lot of duress due to their mortgage are willing to cut any and all expenses to be able to pay their mortgage, even if they hit a trigger rate. That in conjunction with the fact that this is not the United States, foreclosure laws here are a lot different, leads me to predict that the panic selling a lot of housing bears have been hoping for once again will not really occur I, once again i don't think a lot of homeowners even those on a variable rate will have to list and sell now i'm not saying there won't be any i just don't think there will be any on a large demonstrative scale so i anticipate the waiting game to continue alongside an increase in supply but a diminished increase in supply and marginally falling prices anyways let me know if you have any further questions this was a impromptu video i plan on doing a different video for today but that video will be coming out shortly as well thanks very much so for watching stay safe stay tuned and get in touch with me with any questions you may have thank you